Welcome now to another uh, Moto Vlog. And uh, I'm on my way today to uh, take it just a day trip up to the Madawaska Highlands. Um, I've started the filming halfway through uh, my little journey here in the town of Calabogie, next to Calabogie Lake. I must say right away that um, I made a new mount for my GoPro on the helmet and uh, just testing it out today but realized after seeing the footage that it is um, a little low I cut off the horizon too much anyway I'll talk about that later and show you the setup which needs to be revised obviously anyway we're just passing uh, Calabogi Peaks the ski resort Seen some wildlife along the way. It's quite a nice drive. Uh, I eventually come to the Madawaska River and stop at uh, a put in um, maintained by the Fish and Game Club up here. Just a short stop. It was quite. It was raining quite hard. Uh, before I started filming uh, so everything looks kind of cloudy and dark today but uh, it's still a nice ride unfortunately we're not getting uh, the best view but um, I decided to uh, put this together anyway um, rather than waste the footage and um, it's not too bad really so I continue up the uh, highway toward uh, Griffith and here I am uh, gassing up in Griffith um, looks like a nice restaurant here too um, if, uh, if I was up here one day and I didn't want to eat outside uh, there were a few uh, eating establishments up here that looked uh, inviting anyway from uh, from here I go down to uh, back to the Madawaska River in Griffith and there's a picnic area there So here I am, I've stopped at uh, next to the Madawaska River and I found a really nice little uh, rest area with some uh, a sheltered picnic tables and uh, toilets. I stopped at the gas station um, up the road and uh, filled up and the sun is actually thinking about coming out. Beautiful. It rained quite a bit on the way here, and uh, but it was still a nice drive. And because uh, I get quite, uh, I got a little chilled on the way up. I'm gonna have a nice, got my uh, stove going and heating up some water for some, um, from some tea, and then I'll have some lunch. This is a perfect spot. Right now, where I am is. Uh, Griffith. So I've, I've passed along past Black Donald Lake. We didn't see too much of that because there's a lot of cottages along the way and uh, the road was off to the side. We went past uh, Centennial Lake and came along the Madawaska River. We stopped at uh, one uh, little put-in spot and came up to uh, Griffith where we, where we uh, got gas right here and uh, this is excellent uh, the gas was a little bit more expensive uh, but understandably because this is back in the sticks it was 136 I believe a liter and uh, right now down around our way it's uh, about 127 something like that which went up last week from 99 cents um, oh, this 
water is doing really nice. Anyway, I think I'll sit down and uh, relax with a cup of tea. This is a beautiful spot. Lovely view to sit and uh, contemplate life. One other thing uh, I wanted to say before I uh, forgot is um, I, I made a, a new um, attachment for uh, the GoPro onto the helmet because uh, when I had the GoPro on the front, this is the latest, the last uh, setup I made, um, it seemed to, to weigh down a bit and made my helmet uh, a little bit front heavy. So last night I decided to put one on the side and uh, hopefully that um, Hopefully that is working better. I'll have to see when the videos uh, come out. Uh, one problem I noticed that this screw here, this bolt, had come a little bit loose, so it was off to the side a bit when I took my helmet off. So I hope that didn't um, screw up the videos on the way down. But uh, it remains to be seen. So I head back out on the road and go back uh, south toward Tal uh, Calabogie. And this is another of the uh, small cafes, restaurants that uh, looked interesting. So there's quite a quite a lot in Griffith for such a small area. Anyway, I decided to go down and check out. Uh, Meta watching, matter watching, um, because I'm just curious what's down there. Anyways, I was looking up um, some of the history of this area, and um, there was one right up by um, a newspaper, I believe. Uh, one guy researched a lot of things, and this area was uh, originally uh, settled by the French um, uh, loggers, who and uh, ran uh, logs down the Madawaska which uh, goes all the way to Algonquin Park by the way and is uh, just north of here is uh, Madawaska River uh, Provincial Park anyway it was originally settled uh, by the loggers the French and uh, then some uh, the Irish moved in and a lot of Scottish as well moved to the area um, I can't remember the date but they opened up uh, land for free for uh, any settlers that would uh, come in and work it um, so that brought in quite a few settlers of course um, it was hard back in those days there weren't proper roads and uh, in fact something that would take us uh, an hour to drive now would uh, take a, a two-day journey by uh, wagon across the uh, uh, down the back roads that were here at that time This is quite a nice drive down here. The roads are uh, quite, quite nice and beautiful uh, wooded area. Okay, I've just come down through Matachawan, Matawachan, Matawachan, uh, still in the Matawaska area. This is where I stopped for um, lunch and a cup of tea. And I came came through this way, so I'm, I'm coming back this way, and I turned down to Matawachan, and now I'm right at this crossroads here on the Matawachan Road. 
So I'm gonna go up that way, and which will bring me to Wilson, and I'll hang a left and then just go back up to Macho Matawachin and then back home the way I came in. Anyway, sorry about the pronunciation of Matawachin and probably saying that completely wrong. Um, it originally native from uh, a native word, but uh, there seems to be a few different stories to as to uh, the correct meaning. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video. It's just a short one, just to use the footage. And uh, stay tuned because I will be uh, adjusting my camera again and hopefully next trip the footage will be a little a little better take care and see you again